take you out to the Loire Valley, based in Tours, and visit chateaux famous like Chenonceau, Clos Ambois, on to Chambord, the most famous of all, as well as Cheverny and Aze and to the Chateau. Chenonceau is one of the most famous, straddling the river. Clos is the final home of Leonardo da Vinci. He lived here in the final three years of his life and created quite a few of his sketches and plans for his machines, as well as staging some festivities for Francis I, who was his host who lived in the great chateau nearby of Amboise. Leonardo is buried in this small Gothic chapel right on the grounds of the Amboise Chateau. And you have nice views looking down in the village from the chateau. Walking through, you get to experience the rooms of Francis I and some of the other nobility who lived here. There's a statue of Leonardo in the gardens to commemorate his great presence, his final three years of life in Amboise. On to Chambord, the finest of all the Chateau in the Loire and the largest, with nearly 500 rooms. Has a famous spiral double staircase at its core, which is believed to have been designed by Leonardo himself. And you can walk up onto the roof of Chambord and enjoy the various turrets and pinnacles and the views all around you. It's second in size only to the Chateau of Versailles, making this one of the great national monuments of the country. Cheverny is still a private home today and you can visit most of the castle as well as the grounds. Azay le Rideau is another one of the fabulous chateaux. It looks like it's floating. Azay presents this grand illusion of floating in the river and it's surrounded by acres of beautiful gardens. There's a path that goes all the way around the outside of the chateau, which is highly recommended so you can see it from different perspectives. Gothic style ceiling in here, enjoying the different rooms that represent different time periods. Again, outside you get these great views with the reflections in the water. Looks like a perfect fantasy castle. Then on to Blois. This is a major town with one of the largest of the chateau that represents different time periods of architectural styles. And there's King Louis XII, who was the king who built that part of the wing of the chateau. There's a Renaissance wing that Louis built. Before him, there was a Gothic structure. And afterwards, a Baroque wing was added. So you have this grand combination of architectural styles all in one building. And the interior was a royal residence for Louis XII was King of France at the time and this was his home base for quite a while. So this was actually the capital of France for some time. Summoner.